Tanny, congratulations on uh, this wonderful event. I'm very proud of you, especially for your website launch. This is great. Um, definitely uh, thank you for everyone who came out to support Tanny as well. Uh, this is a wonderful event. Uh, my name is Milan Williams. Uh, I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I like sports. Uh, I'm a Capricorn. Yes, yes, we are here. Hey, I see you, boo. I might holler at you later. Um, but I'm also, <laughs> but I'm also, I'm also a very, I'm also a very random person. You know, I have random thoughts, random actions, you know, things like that. I just do whatever comes to mind. The other day, um, I was actually in the store, um, shopping for baked beans. I really like baked beans. Bushes, of course. Yeah. They have a really good, re yeah, yeah. Clapping yeah. off the bushes. Yeah. They got a really good recipe though, and a good good bean. They got a really good bean. You gotta pay attention to the beans as well. Uh, but I was I was thinking about my childhood. I used to really like watching cartoons. Cartoons are cartoons used to really really be great. My favorite cartoon was Scooby was Scooby Doo. You know, with the with the mystery machine. You uh, know, Scrappy Scrappy Doo. You know, Shaggy. You know, the whole gang. Used to love them. Uh, but after Scooby Doo every day would come on the Jetsons. Now I, I hated the Jetsons. I never really watched the whole show. I would only catch the opening credits, and it didn't make any sense to me. And as an as an eight year old or nine year old, you know, you know the story. Here's George Jetson. Now what we, he would do? He would pick up his family, drop them off to work, school. The dog, he could drop the dog off. You know, and make sure that they were there safely. He's a, an honorable husband and father, right? Everybody likes that about him, all right? But what didn't make sense to me is that the car didn't have wheels, nor was he driving on the road. Um, everything was just in the air, you know? There was no ground below. I didn't really understand that. I'm eight, nine. What if he get in the wreck? <laughs> What happens then? Does he fall into space? <laughs> you know, there's no gravity, so he's just falling. So, uh, basically, you know, he's in trapped in the car with his family to where nobody can rescue them. They all have to eat each other to, <laughs> to basically survive. And at the end, you know, somebody's just going to starve to death. That just seemed really stupid to me. I didn't, didn't quite understand that. That, that, was, that was odd. And I was nine when I thought of that, and I, I thought that was strange as well. Man. But also, I, I see a lot of a, a lot of women in here tonight, looking very nice. Woo! And I give yourselves a round of applause. That's nice. Woo! If you didn't clap for yourself, then okay. <laughs> um, but yes, but yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm in a good place right now. The ratio is looking real good. But I also realized recently that. It's hard to be a woman. I saw that it was hard to be, cause I actually did some um, some recon. I did some intel. Uh, I went to Victoria's Secret. I did. I did. I walked in. I'm, I'm a man. I can do that. I'm, I'm secure. Walked in and I started looking around, and I saw the bras. Now, yeah, I was lost. You're right. I started looking at the bras, and I was like, well, these are very deceiving. Now, y'all got bras that add cups and push up and, you know, have them looking like kittens and all that. You know, that, I didn't really get that. But then I started to think that us men, we got to do some, some things similar. We go pants shopping. All right? It's a science. It's an art, if you will. Because all of the women in here, y'all, some of y'all are looking right now at the print. Yep. Yeah, you're doing it. All of you look at the print when you talk to a guy. I know it. It doesn't matter what age you are, how old you are, you look at the print. Yep. Some of y'all say, hey, yep, and all that. Some of y'all are like, well, you're right. I did, yeah. I did see. And the lighting, you know, if you can't get a good, you know, visual on the lighting, you know, oh, girl, I can't tell from here. I, yeah, I got them. But, you know, you don't want to. You don't want to have too much, but you don't want to have too little, obviously, because you want to get chose. <laughs> but you don't want to have too much because it can also be, you know, harm.
powerful to your health, not only your health, but others around you, okay? Scenario. Let's say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use you, sir. I'm going to use you, sir. So, um, you're a single dad, all right? In this scenario, you're a single dad. Don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. You're a single dad, okay? Now, yeah, this scenario, hypothetical, don't worry about it. Hypothetical, scenario. Now, your wife passed away in a yoga accident while she was eating the, while she was eating the mango in the downward dog position. She was, she was a novice. It's okay. Anyways, anyways, so, you're taking your, you got a beautiful little girl. No. Got a beautiful little girl. She's six. Okay, she's six. Her name is Geraldine, because that's a really cute name. Don't worry about it, Geraldine. It was in the family. It was passed down. Her name Geraldine. You call it GB for short. Alright? So anyways, y'all decide to go to the park together. Go to the park. As soon as you get there, pew, she's off. Monkey bars, swing set, jungle gym, merry-go-round, sandbox, monkey bars, jungle gym. She comes back, she's tired, but she goes back. So you sit down, you see at the park, hey, it's summertime, there's a lot, a lot of nice young women out. You may find someone else. See, a lot of, lot of women. And then a nice young lady comes and sits next to you with her little girl, gets her ready, sends her off. Okay, cool. That's all we need is an icebreaker. Men, all we want is an icebreaker that's non creepy, non abrasive, very unassuming. Don't want the police call. Exactly. You don't want nobody to, you know, roll up on you or anything like that. So she goes and plays with your daughter. Great. Perfect. You got it. Hey, I see that um, your daughter's going to play with mine. Nice. What's her name? Antoinette. Oh, that's good. Antoinette's a cute name too for a little girl. Everybody knows that. Anyway, so y'all talking, talking, talking. In your head, dirtier and dirtier thoughts are going on. And next thing you know, you're like, man, I really would like to take her to maybe a car, maybe a bathroom or some woods. Not on a date. You want to do something right then. That's what you're doing. So, <laughs> yep, that happened. So, anyways. You're talking and the conversation is progressing along. It's progressing along very nicely. So as men, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure you see it, ladies. We're gonna put your you stand up, put your leg up on the on the bench real quick, stretch out, <laughs> stretch out, make sure it's shown. Now, just because it's summer, you decide to wear your khaki shorts today. No, 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 no. You wore the khaki shorts thinking that, you know, hey, I don't have to worry about anything wrong. 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 So, as the, you know, as the conversation's going along, you get that confirmation, right? Because she's still talking to you. Yeah, yeah, if you're going to talk to her and not, not run away, then we like that. Okay, we like that. So, you're starting to get a little bit more excited. More excited. <laughs> Next thing you know, behind you, you hear, Daddy, Daddy, look. And you turn around, and you didn't realize your daughter is really that close to you. And she had a friend next to her as well. You turn around, full on, and you hit her in the face. Oh, and you oh, like the eye. Oh, now, the lady is mad. The lady's mad, can't get nothing from her no more. The daughter mad, because now she got to wear an eye patch for the rest of her life. <laughs> and your daughter's embarrassed. Hey, just make sure, men, pay attention to detail, just like the ladies, all right? Very nice to have you guys at Scrap. Y'all have a great rest of your night, all right?